All right, everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a new project started. Okay, so once we've logged into NoteFlight, this is what our screen looks like. On the upper left-hand corner, we're going to click on Create. And then we have a menu here. Uh, we can choose lots of different um, score settings on here. Uh, for today, I'm just going to choose Trouble Clef. Um, you would obviously choose bass clef if you were a bass clefer or percussion if you're a percussionist or if you just wanted to work on your own project. You have tons of different choices here. But we're going to go treble clef today. I'm going to click on OK. And then this is what my screen looks like. OK. Um, now, there's a couple different things we need to do to get started. The first thing is to set the tempo. And the tempo can be found right here. Now, on your screen, it may be in a different spot. This whole area up here is our toolbar. Um, and what I can do is I can add options to this or take them away by clicking on these headings. So for instance, under the measure heading, if I want to get rid of these, I just click on measure and they disappear. Pitch disappears. So I can get rid of all of these by clicking on them. Now, if I want to add stuff to my toolbar, this menu right here on the left has all of my, my choices here. Okay. So I want duration on top. I want to be able to see what notes I'm going to use. Uh, I want rhythm on top. Uh, I'm going to put pitch on top and I'm going to put measure on top. You can pick what you want to do here. Okay. I'm also going to put tempo, which is right here. <clears throat> okay. So this tempo is set at 120. I can set it at 80. I can set it at 60. I can do whatever I want. Okay. I'll keep it at 120 for right now. And uh, we're also going to set a key signature. So if I click change key signature, I have all of these options. Uh, I'm just going to keep this on C for right now. Okay. To change the title, I'm going to click on the title and it'll allow me to type. So I'm going to put in Mary had a little lamb. And if I want to put my name, composer, your name, I can add a subtitle. Uh, this lyricist, I could put a lyricist or I could use this for something like uh, the instrument. So this is going to be maybe for alto saxophone. Okay, and if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I also have a copyright down here. So I can put copyright 2021, Mr. Okay, and that's how I get my project started in NoteFlight. 